What's up guys, it's your girl A. Simone back at again with another video. Thanks so much for tuning in. So as you saw by the title of this video, we are going to be trying the Wingstop Chicken Sandwiches. Um, This is the newest addition to the Wingstop menu. These have been out for a minute. They were doing it as a test trial in certain cities. I know Las Vegas was one of the cities because I saw um, an eating video where um, individuals, um, YouTubers that live in Las Vegas, they had it so it was in certain cities throughout the u.s and then they officially um i guess after um um testing it out they brought it um you know um to um the rest of the various locations throughout the u.s um which i don't know why they had to test that out because the whole chicken sandwich wave since popeye's like you know everybody's done a hand breaded you know hand cooked um you know chicken sandwich so i don't know why they thought that um it wouldn't do well um a crispy chicken sandwich but yeah um so i am actually in durham if you guys did not know i am from virginia a small city in virginia so i live about an hour outside of durham my, my grandmother is here for her um for a doctor's appointment so whenever i come to durham um this past year when i've been coming to her appointments i try to go to restaurants that are not in my city i am from a small city so guys we actually do not have a wing stop in my city um yeah i did not try wing stop in my life until this year to this past summer when we were to go visit a family member in greensboro north carolina so i live you know an hour outside of major city outside of you know big cities so um just going an hour away to chill and hang out to eat you know that's obviously not that far okay guys so this is the first sandwich the spicy Korean, as you guys can see, this is a wet sandwich, I meaning this is a wet sauce and it has the pickles and the sauce on there. That is it. And there we go. And then um, the next sandwich is the garlic parmesan sandwich. This is a dry seasoning, which means it's just the dry seasoning coming out of like, you know, a shaker that they shake on there with the pickles. And yeah, and then I also got a brownie and then I got the fries with the combo and yeah that is it okay guys so i am back um with the review of the um wing stop chicken sandwich like i said guys they had these out for a while but they were testing them in different cities so i think somewhere in california i don't know if it was specifically la i know las vegas because i was watching youtubers who live in las vegas and they tried it out so yeah they were test running this a few months ago like several months ago and then they i guess officially released it into you know the stores across the u.s so yeah guys i got two well i got one combo then i got a second sandwich so i only tried two of the flavors which was the garlic parmesan and then the spicy korean so like i said guys i've only hit wingstop one time in my life and that was this past um spring summer and yeah um like i said i was with a family friend so he got Four flavors i picked lemon pepper is one of my flavors and then he picked the other three flavors for you know the rest of the family and for everybody to kind of like mix and match so there was one flavor i really liked out of that one it was a wet flavor so that should help me narrow it down but it's still i would literally have to have like all the flavors in front of me to like taste test to even remember to like recollect my taste buds to even remember what it was so yeah, I'm not familiar with the flavors. So I showed you guys the sandwiches. Like I said, I was at my grandma's house, so it wasn't my regular setup. Um, yeah, the garlic parmesan, barely anything on it. Like, I taste the parmesan. I, I'm, I, like I said, I'm not familiar with these, so I don't know. So I can't really compare it to getting the regular wings and then transferring it to how they did it on the sandwich. Because like I said, I've only had wings stop one time. So I really don't have a good base on how they do the season and how they do the flavors. For me, I feel like I taste the Parmesan. As far as the garlic element, like, as far as, like, other restaurants I know who do garlic Parmesan, which is a popular flavor, I didn't taste the undertone of the garlic at all. So, yeah, um, so I ate that sandwich. And then um, the spicy Korean, or I think I might have went back and forth because I think I might have stopped one sandwich and started the other one. So spicy Korean. So what I'm noticing, what I noticed about the sandwiches right away is that the actual um the actual coating of the sandwich is different. So if you get the dry seasonings, like I show you guys with the garlic parmesan, that literally looked like they just sprinkled a couple sprinkles 
of the garlic parmesan season on there and then you, when you look at the wet sandwiches it seems like you're getting way more actual season well you're getting way more of the coating with the wet sandwiches so that's right off the bat wet versus the dry seasonings um now as you guys can see the wet it was a little patchy but with it being wet i don't need it to be dripping soaked with the wet so i don't think they need to like dip it in and like soak it i feel like the way they coated the wet one that was good enough for me to where i feel like 60 to 70 percent of the patty was coated so yeah so with the wet i don't need it dripping and obviously you can customize it and ask them to give you extra sauce or make sure it's nice and wet and coated but for me that was fine so yeah so the spicy um korean uh, i really wasn't a fan of that flavor but as far as the actual coating and how they did it i guess i would give it a thumbs up for that um but yeah i just was not a fan of that flavor but like i said i'm not familiar with wingstop at all so yeah um like i said i really have nothing to go off based on me even eating the wings on a regular basis anyway um but based on how that sandwich was made i would give that sandwich a thumbs up based on the garlic parmesan i feel like they just sprinkled literally two sprinkles on the top on in the middle of the sandwich and that was it so with that sandwich i feel like i did get to taste the base sandwich which is just the regular plain fried sandwich and based on what I can get, um, that wasn't really giving much. So, if you just get the plain sandwich, that's just a sandwich breaded and coated and then they deep fry it. Based on what I can taste on pretty much the areas that there wasn't any garlic parmesan, you know, sprinkled on, that, the actual base chicken patty itself, that really wasn't giving me anything. Um, yeah, and mind you, like I said, I did, I do live an hour away from the location I went to in Durham, like I said, we were coming back from the doctor's appointment, which my grandmother actually didn't even get seen, because it was a mix-up in the insurance, so, you know, but it was still a cool drive, like, me and my mama, we, we don't have anything to do, like I said, I work from home, helping her, so, us going that hour away, it was cool, we got us some food, and came back, but yeah, um, so even, like I said, the Sandwiches weren't technically fresh out of the grease when I ate them. I did warm them up when I got home. And yeah, um, I would give the spicy Korean a thumbs up. Just based on the coating, the, the wet coating versus the dry coating. But the garlic parmesan, that was not giving anything. And like I said, you guys can let me know when it comes to the dry ingredients. Is that how they are on the regular wings? Are they like stingy with the dry ingredients? Is it, is it not a lot of, you know, flavor or seasoning when they do the regular wings, how they toss it or how they do it? Because I feel like they did two sprinkles on that and that was it. And I got to taste, like I said, a lot of the actual patty itself. And that really wasn't given, that wasn't given anything you know, to my taste buds as far as it being, you know, a chicken patty. I feel like you got, for me, you have Zaspies, you have um, Popeyes, you have KFC, which a lot of people, I feel like be sleeping on KFC chicken sandwich. That chicken sandwich is fire to me. Those are my top three. The Popeyes, KFC, and then Zaspies. And then all the rest of the hand bread chicken sandwiches, they kind of fall to the wayside. And then you have Chick-fil-A, but that's kind of like an OG as far as these newer chicken sandwiches, yeah. Um, so, based on what I can taste of the flavor, this would even make it into my top five or maybe even top ten chicken sandwiches, to be honest. Um, it just wasn't giving anything the flavor. Um, so, yeah, guys, that is my review on the Wingstop chicken sandwiches. Um, like I said, now every place is different. If you live in a bigger city, a busier city, Maybe you're getting better quality, um, but yeah, like I said, when I went to this location, it wasn't very busy, so I don't know if this is like a less busier location, so maybe that affected the quality, um, but yeah, I would definitely rate, um, the wet sandwich over the dry ingredient sandwich, 
yeah, but overall, it was nothing to fall home about, to be honest. Like I said, I live in a small city, so I don't even have um, a wing stop here. But if I had Wingstop, Popeyes, Chick Fil A, you know, Zaspi, if I had all these, like, and I'm able to just like drive down a road and pick and choose, Wingstop, yeah, you're, yeah, you're the last on the list, and that's crazy. But even with regular Wingstop, people say it's overrated. So yeah, but yeah, guys, that's my review. I've gone. <laughs> I've rambled on enough, and I will check you guys in the next video. Comment, subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys next time.